Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, coming at you once again from in my office slash wardrobe. Today I am bringing you a vlog all about budgeting on a gluten free diet, at least that is what I started filming before I got struck down with this monster cold, which is why I sound a little bit bunged up so I do apologise about that. The first half of the video I'd already filmed and I didn't want to leave you guys in the lurch without a vlog this week. So the first half is all about my kind of budget tips and I made an awesome chicken soup which has really been helping me through this cold. Second half of the video is a bit of a tour of my kitchen to give you an idea of some gluten free essentials I have in my kitchen. So I really hope this is stuff you'll find helpful. To be honest I feel pants and I would like to go lie down and watch Bridgerton. Here's the vlog, really hope you guys like it. If you find this kind of thing helpful please let me know in the comments hit like please don't hate me for my snotty voice and i will see you guys again soon here we go this is the leftovers of my summer roast chicken recipe and i will pop a link to that down below because that is a really easy one pan roast for the summer it's got like orange and garlic and paprika and it's just delicious so I used a big chicken instead of a little one, which is what I say on the blog, because I love having the leftovers to do things like chicken soup. Now chicken soup is one of the easiest ways to create a big batch budget recipe and to cut down on food waste, because a lot of this is the kind of thing which would normally be thrown away once you've picked off the meat, but actually I'm gonna boil down the bones with some leftover bits of veg and odds and ends in the fridge so that I don't waste those. It's gonna be good because we've got a bit of a cold going around the house at the moment and I really like having batches of this in the freezer ready for if I'm not feeling great. So let me show you how easy it is to make some chicken soup. So I've managed to get loads of meat off this chicken so I've popped all the bones in this massive saucepan and then I've just got some bits of extra veggie things to add flavour. So I've got a red onion I've just chopped up, a leftover stick of celery, quite a few cloves of garlic because I just love garlicky everything. I've just roughly chopped and smashed under a knife. Then I've got the very end bits of the spring onions that you'd normally chuck away. So I tend to save these up and you can see they're a bit rickety there. And then I've got the root bits which then will go in and a few bay leaves. And I'm just going to chuck all these into the pan with some water. Boil it down for a few hours with lots of salt and pepper. And that will be the stock base of the soup. chicken stock has had an hour and a half I've taken all the bones out and here it is sifted all up and then ready for the soup I've got spring onion celery carrot red onion potato and then I'm gonna add quite a bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger and some chili as well just to make this a really nice kind of nourishing delicious soup and there is obviously the recipe for this is in written form on my vlog which I will link in the description but for now I'm kind of winging it but I've made this so many times and now I'm gonna add in the chicken as well so I'll basically fry off the vegetables till they're a little bit soft then I'll add the stock and I'll probably boil it for about 20 minutes or so add the chicken in then it'll be ready to serve up or to batch into portions for the freezer so this has been bubbling away now for about 20 minutes I've just added in most of the chicken that was left over so I'm just going to stir that up and let it bubble up again and then I've got just enough here for me and Steve to have some sandwiches tomorrow so that's three meals out of one whole chicken which has done really well I think and shows that it's so much cheaper than just buying it individually because now I've got this lovely homemade chicken soup made from real chicken stock I had a delicious roast dinner yesterday and I've got lunch for tomorrow I'm just cooking up a batch of chilli because I've used up all the stuff in the freezer. I know it probably looks like I'm just cooking chilli all the time, but I thought that while this is simmering, I could show you some of the things that are in my cupboard, like my kind of essentials. I do a lot of my shopping in Lidl, so I do get a lot of stuff cheaper there. This tomato sauce I am obsessed with. I got told about it by um, Christian, who is celiac dietitian on Instagram. He is Spanish and he told me how good this was. I bought it. I loved it and every time it's Spanish week in Lidl I buy loads of it so you should definitely try this. Now I love an accidentally gluten free find and these crunchy taco shells from Tesco are gluten free. So they're with the normal Mexican food but if you have a look at the back there is no ingredients which include gluten and they may contain warnings so I would consider these safe to eat. So it, I've got these and I will probably maybe put some of this chili in them actually. 
Now this is a different soy sauce brand to what I normally buy, but I thought I'd try it. It's a tamari soy sauce. I found it in Sainsbury's and it was actually with all like the Japanese food and the sushi rice and stuff like that. So it's completely gluten free and I've been using that instead of the normal Kikaman one that I normally use. But it seems pretty good. It seems to taste a little bit more like soy sauce than the other tamari. So yeah, I would recommend that one. So another little special is this polenta. This polenta is pre-cooked. It only costs 99p and it's in Lidl when they do their Italian week. It's another one to look out for. I got a couple of packs because it's actually got quite a long date on it. But I want to experiment with this. I did make some polenta fries the other week. I will definitely share the recipe. So I've just got a few tin staples, coconut milk which I use in curries. Those beans I definitely bought for something that I can't remember now. Sweet corn because it's my fave. I got some tin bean sprouts because it's just cheaper and easier than buying them in the packs. Well, it might not have been cheaper, but it's cheaper than me buying them and forgetting about them and throwing them away. And then I've got some stock in here. So I've got these OXO stock pot. I had not used these before, but they're actually really tasty. And normally I use the Knorr stock cubes, which I think are in... Oh, here we go. So in here I've got all my Knorr stock cubes. I've got chicken and veg in there. Those are gluten-free. Oh, I forgot I have this. An Aunt Bessie's gluten-free Yorkshire pudding mix. I'll have to try that out soon. And also on this shelf is the Javella white mix. I use this instead of flour. I do actually do quite a few ads with Javella, just in case you guys want or need to know that. But I really, really rate this mix for like cakes and bread. So I've got a really cool cake recipe coming up with these guys that I made this week. And I'll show you that next week. This shelf is looking a little bit more sad, but I'll go through some of the bits. So. This is a promise, or the last of my promised sourdough bread rolls. I use these for some hot dogs. They're really nice, actually. Um, good texture, probably quite good for lunch boxes because you can pretty much eat the bread without toasting it, so I would rate these. Also, in the cupboard of dreams, I have the last bee free pita bread, which I really should get like a bread bin or something. I just kind of shove everything in here. Um, but yeah, I really, really rate these pita breads. I eat them a lot instead of bread i just prefer the texture they're a lot lighter um they're really easy to make you just toast them and fill them and yeah i love them so i pretty much buy these every single week oh and they're vegan as well which is even better if you're vegan and gluten free i've also in this cupboard got some leftover pasta from morrison's they are probably the best value for supermarket pasta they're really cheap and i tend to suggest to people if you can and you've got the option of going to multiple supermarkets i'd recommend doing this because you might find like the pasta in Sainsbury's is like a pound a pack whereas this was like 60p or something so it's definitely worth shopping around if you can afford to or you have the options because you'll find different things are better in different supermarkets. Got some little tuna for my uh, lunchbox staples. Also got some risotto rice which I use for obviously risottos but I have um, a prawn and chorizo risotto which I've just put up on the blog which I really like and I've made that a few times now with this. I've got some beef gravy from Morrison's as well. We haven't had roast beef for a while, hence why this is shoved to the back. And what is this at the back? Has anyone else found they just have random crap which they shove at the back of their cupboards and haven't seen for a long time? Oh, this looks exciting. Vietnamese spring roll kit. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. So this I actually got from Sainsbury's, I think. Um, it's got a dipping sauce, rice noodles, and rice paper to make your own spring roll kit and I believe I bought this because somewhere on the pack it says it's gluten free but yeah oh I might have to make these soon I'll keep you posted on that so that's it for my cupboard tour let me know if you'd like to see some other gluten free essentials I could always talk you through my baking cupboard or the fridge or freezer just let me know in the comments below so my chilli has finished cooking, I'm just leaving it here to cool down. I'm going to have half a dinner which I'll reheat, and the other half is going in the freezer. So for now that leaves me nothing to do but go and watch Netflix. I really hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to sign off here, please hit like, hit subscribe if you want to see more like this and let me know in the comments if this has been useful and what you have in your cupboards and I'll see you for the next vlog next week. Bye!